Hey guys, so it's now the weekend and I have the next two days to work on this costume and hopefully I can finish it. Okay, so what I did last night was I tried it on and I pinned down the back trim for the waist of the bodice. Um, the reason why I put on the bodice first and then pinned the back is because the back actually stretches over um, the lacing so I needed to accommodate for that stretch when pinning on the trim so as you can see the trim actually buckles quite a bit because of that exact reason um, so yeah now that's pinned down I'm going to sew that I'm going to hand sew it the same way I did the front of the trim which was just basic back stitches all the way through um, and then I'm going to add the satash braid um, just above this thick trim and what else do I need to do I'm going to add um, this trim here which is the one that I used for the pant feathers I've only got a little bit left of this um, by the way I actually bought 75 meters of this trim it wasn't enough to make all of the feathers I did have to um, use this trim which is quite thick it's a, a, a bit a bit thicker than this original one and it's more yellow as well um, which means it's harder to maneuver um, because as you can imagine all of the pant feather things are all twisty and turny so this doesn't work well for that but I use these for those straight fishbone <laughs> spine parts of the feathers so that's why I have a little bit left over of the original trim that I used for those feathers um, and this is going to be along here um, covering that raw seam between the sleeve and the shoulder piece and then the piece the trim that's going to go across here is the satash braid like that and along the back panel so there's this ugly stitching that I need to cover up um, that will be covered up hopefully by this um, feather trim and hopefully I have enough I'm sure I will and that's just going to be hand sewed in place there and then I think that's all of the trim so after the trim it's going to be all of the beaded trim so um, yeah I'm positive that I can smash out some work on this today and hopefully 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 tomorrow I can get a cos test done because yeah um, there are a few other small things that I need to do, like um, I need to attach bigger hooks and eyes to the backs of the pants. Sorry, my alarm just rang on my phone, so it stopped filming. Um, what I was saying was the um, hooks and eyes currently on the back of the pants are way too small. Um, they're like the little tiny hooks and eyes and I can't do those up by myself very well. I can, but it takes a long time. So I'm going to go to the shops today, get some big hooks and eyes, replace those. Um, and what else is there? Oh yeah, the cape. So the cape still needs to be attached to the back of the bodice. Um, so I'm thinking of just attaching the cape uh, just along, oh, you can't see, just along here somehow um, I am thinking of using I don't know what they're called but these these snap you know those snaps that they always have on baby clothes and you snap them into place yeah I'm thinking of just snapping on the cape there and these are white ones that I have um, I think I'll just paint them gold I can't be bothered buying more snaps um, especially when I've got like a whole heap of these because I bought a whole heap of these online and it was much cheaper to buy it in bulk than it was to buy them separately in the shops um, so yeah that's that um, oh yeah that's how the back's looking so far if you're curious um, so yeah it's all coming together and let's do this
So I've just finished sewing the back of one side. So that's all hand back stitches. And then here at the point, I just flipped that under, cut off the excess, and then sewed that all down. And yeah, and there's a lovely close up at my stitching. <laughs> it's not too bad. Well, by my standards anyway. So now to do the other side and hang on, what time is it? Hmm. Maybe I'll give a start on the other side and then I will head to the shops. Okay. Okay, so it's been a few hours now. I'm back from the shops. I picked up some glue and hooks and bars. I did think they were called hooks and eyes, but they're actually hooks and bars. So these ones here. I'm going to attach those to the pants. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that on camera, just so you know. Um, I am putting, replacing all of the hooks and eyes with hooks and bars in the pants, so I'm able to put the pants on myself um, in a bit shorter of a time. And I also picked up some more E6000 glue since my other one, oh, it's stuck. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'll just pick up the whole book and show you. My other one currently looks like this. So, um, yeah, <laughs> can't use that anymore. Um, so I've got a new one and I've learnt my lesson. I'm not going to squeeze it directly from the tube. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit and then pick it up with the end of a paintbrush and then place that where I need it to be. I'll put that aside. So that's what I picked up from the shops. Um, so the next thing that I need to do is sew the Satash trim to the top of this. I know I keep repeating myself, but honestly, I can't really remember what I do each time I do these updates. Um, so yeah, sorry if I do keep repeating myself in, in what I'm going to do. Um, I've got this little earring piece that I took the actual earring part off, um, pulled that apart and this will go at the bottom there and um, the reason why I'm putting this there now is so I can figure out where this trim needs to meet and join up to make it look nice. Um, so I'm thinking about, about there that looks fine to me and I will just um, I think I will just hand stitch this on I might put a bit of glue on the back and then um, stitch all along here somehow um, and then this will definitely be um, stitched into place because I don't trust glue <laughs> I mean, it is pretty good glue. It's very strong glue. It's good glue to use, but I'm just, I think glue is messy and when things get messy, that's when trouble starts. So I'm going to try and avoid using glue as much as possible, but for things like this, which are just way too thick to sew through, you know, you're better off using glue instead of ruining your fingers. Um, yeah <laughs> so yeah I'm going to continue on with this bodice trim and I will update when I've reached another I guess milestone small milestone <laughs> okay <laughs>
Okay, so I've finished sewing all of the trim that um, is not beaded. So I've got trim on the shoulder piece um, up there. They're not very even on either side, the one that goes inwards. That one's a bit thinner than this one, but I can't be bothered fixing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm rushed for time, so I, I don't really care. Um, and then I've also got the trim along the bottom and that continues all the way to the back. And then I've also put, added this trim along the top of the back panels. Um, so that's all of the trim sewn down. And then now I need to add the beaded stuff. So I've got three different types of beaded trim. I've got this one here, which is a very small um, chain of beads and this will go along the top cup and then also on the outer, what I'm calling the outer shoulder piece. And that's just essentially on top of that part there. And then I've also got a large beaded, beaded trim, this one here. Um, so this one, the beads are actually like a clear crystal color. Um, but I painted them with a rose gold paint mixed with some gold paint um, and that's how I got this color and this trim is going to go on the bottom cut piece and also along the bottom down here. I think that's it for that trim. We'll see. And then I've also got this beaded trim. Um, which is going to go down the center of the bodice, like so. And then I've got um, then I've got like the pendants and jewels and stuff. So I've got these two. Um, so this one I pulled off all of the beads and that's going to go at the top there and then this one I just pulled off the earring piece that was up here and I've just left the beads down here so that's going to hang off the edge and those beads will hopefully emulate these beads here. Um, so that's those main pendant things and then I also have these little leaf, leaf pendant things um, which my sister found at the op shop there were earrings then she just pulled the backs off and then painted them teal. Those are going to go like that. I'll just glue them down and I've also got this little piece which is from the necklace, um, one of the necklaces that I didn't need and that I think is going to go up here like so. So I think that that's all of the Oh wait, hang on, one more thing. Um, I've also got a little bit left. This is all I've got left of the feather trim stuff. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this is glue this down along, along the V-shaped part there. And then also um, just along here, depending on how much I have left. And that's because this is quite shiny you know, sparkly, whereas this trim is very not so great looking. So I think just to make it stand out a little bit more, it would be really nice to have that shimmer going on just on the main pieces of the trim. So that's everything that I need to do. And then the bodice will be done apart from the cape. Um, yeah, I'm slowly getting there and I think this is going to be a mixture of gluing and sewing. Um, yeah, we'll see how I go.
guys. So I'm now sewing the beaded trim on the outer shoulder. Um, I'm just finishing off the second side um, and I thought I would just come on here and show you how I am stitching it to the bodice. So basically I'm going around each of the little crystal things. So I've just got a stitch that's just come up through there and now I'm just going and leading the thread around the top, poking it through on the other side of the little crystal. And I found what really helps is if I hold the threads while I pull the needle through and then that way the threads won't tangle um, because this metallic thread really, really likes to tangle itself. So I find that holding it works and then I don't know if you can see that but there's a little loop going around the crystal I pull that through and now the second stitch I do is just to go over that um, that piece of the chain that's holding each of the crystals together Again, I hold the threads as I go through, and there, that's another one sewn. And then I just repeat that same process, so going around the crystal, poking through on the other side of the crystal, Pulling through and holding the threads and creating a little loop around the crystal and then doing the second stitch just around the chain. And there's another one done. So I've just got the whole way around to do and then I can move on to sewing some other trim to other places on the bodice.
so I'm just finishing up um, sewing the trim on the other side this is the big beaded trim along the waistband of the bodice um, so I thought I would just quickly come on here and show you we'll talk through how I'm actually sewing these beads down so as you can see they're all connected on a chain I'm basically going around three times around that chain so one so there's one two and then three it's basically just doing a loop around the chain and coming out the underside for the thread to come back up and then on the third one it's now pointing the threads coming out from underneath and it's pointing out to away from me and then I basically just wrap it around the bead um, and then start again so one two three and I make sure that I hold the threads taut while pulling through because the thread really likes to catch on the beads and that's not fun um, so yeah that's basically what I do I am using regular cotton uh, not cotton polyester thread rather than that metallic thread that I was using before for the shoulder trim um, and that's because one this matches the trim the waistband trim much better and two that metallic stuff that metallic trim was just oh gosh it was so hard to work with so I'm glad that I can switch to this thread instead and it glides through a lot more easily um, so yeah I'm just finishing off this part and then once I've done that I can start on the main bodice trim that goes down the centre front and that will that will just be glued down I can't there's no way that my hands can handle sewing that through because it's impossible um, considering how thick that centre front part is um, so yeah I'm going to hopefully nothing goes wrong with the glue but yeah I'm going to glue all of that centre front trim down and then, and then what else is there? Oh, and then I need to do the, the beaded trim along the cups of the bodice. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sew or glue those down. At this stage, considering, considering that this is the big trim that I'm, I'm sewing down now and this is taking a while and this is still like the easier place to do it, the cups are going to be much more tricky um, so I am thinking of just gluing it down and I will have to be extremely patient when you know holding the beads down with glue um, because you know once the glue has touched the fabric that's it you know <laughs> so there's no shifting or anything once you've placed the, the beads down Whereas with sewing, you know, you can always manoeuvre things while you, as you sew. It's not stuck in place. And then you can always rip stitches out. <laughs> Whereas gluing, oh, that's scary. Gluing is such scary business. For me anyway. Almost done. So I've been working at sewing these beaded shoulder waistband things all yesterday evening and all of this morning so 
as you can tell it takes quite a bit of time um, but I do I do trust sewing more than gluing almost there oh no that one's missing a gemstone oh well I might have to add one in Oh, this part's really thick. Oh no, that wasn't even on camera. Oh no, damn. Okay, I finally finished sewing down all of the beaded trim on the waistband and the outer shoulder pieces and now I'm going to glue down this trim here for the center front as well as adding some of these things up here down here and then I will see if I can glue down the big beaded trim along the bottom cup and then I will probably end up sewing the smaller trim to the top cup so that's the plan um, yeah, I'll probably just um, time-lapse me doing it. Okay. <laughs> 